Today we're reviewing the Shure SM48 Dynamic Cardioid Microphone. This is a popular dynamic mic that's used for both live performances and for studio recording. The SM48 is available in two configurations, the SM48-LC, which I'm using today, and the SM48S-LC, which adds an on-off button. Both mics are identical in every way except for the on-off button. So when you buy the SM48, you get the mic itself, a pouch to store it in, and a mic stand adapter. The SM48 has an all-metal construction with a male XLR connector on the bottom. They do not provide an XLR cable with the mic and you'll need to buy one separately. And since this is a dynamic mic, it doesn't require phantom power. So it'll plug straight into a mixer, PA system, audio interface, or even a camera that has an XLR input. I'll leave links to a few different types of XLR cables that you can use with the SM48 in the description below. Now the mic stand adapter that comes with it will mount to any standard mic stand with a 5 8 inch thread. If you're using it in a home studio setting, you can always mount it to a tabletop mic stand. And I'll leave links to some mic stands that'll work with the SM48 in the description below. Now since this is a dynamic mic, it's mainly designed to be used handheld and held close to your mouth when recording. That's exactly how I'm currently using it, and the audio you're hearing now is from the SM48. The SM48 does come with a built-in pop filter, but I still recommend using a windscreen to reduce the impact of plosives. The built-in pop filter isn't as good as an external windscreen, and I currently have this one installed on my SM48. I'm about two inches away from the mic, connected to the XLR input on the Zoom H4n. It's being recorded in the MP3 format at the 320 KB BPS data rate setting. I've set the input level manually to 70% on the Zoom H4n and I'm going to read you a quote just so you can hear how it sounds. The whole problem with the world is that fools and fanatics are always so certain of themselves and wiser people so full of doubts. This is a quote from Bertrand Russell. As you could probably tell, the quality of the SM48's audio is really good. The recording is warm and crisp, there's very little background noise captured, and this is really good if you have a noisier room and don't have a sound booth or any kind of sound insulation. It'll perform pretty well for vocals, podcasts, voiceovers, and for live performances. Now it definitely doesn't sound as bright as its more expensive sibling, the SM58, but it's also a whole lot less expensive than the SM58. I'll leave links to both mics below in case you wanna check them out. Now if you wanna record into a PC or Mac, you'll need a USB interface of some kind. The least expensive option is the Behringer Zenix 302 USB mixer. And again, I'll leave a link to that below in case you're looking for a USB interface. Overall, the SM48 is a really good mic for the price, especially if you're just starting out and need a good quality mic and you're not really looking to spend a whole lot of money. It's very well designed, it's rugged, and it's priced just right. I definitely recommend this mic for beginners, especially for folks looking to record vocals. Hope this review was useful. If it was, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.